Hello and welcome to Retech and today we're going to look at something a little different. It's a, a laptop but it's a kind of an early laptop. It's an early version of a laptop that we know today and it's um, from a company if you're living in the UK or parts of Europe you'll kind of know it as Amstrad, Alan Sugar's company. And it's a company that did quite well throughout the late 1980s through to the kind of mid 1990s. And they did bring out quite a few variants of computers from microcomputers to desktop computers to laptop computers. And they also brought out kind of bespoke word processors and so on as well, which they marketed. But at this point in time, which is 1990, Amstrad dipped its toe into the portable market. Now the portable market or the luggable market really as it was back then, because prior to that there was only really the Epsom HX20 or HC20 that was doing any kind of portable pretense really for a laptop. The Newbury New Brain was probably another one, but then this was different. This was no longer in the 8-bit micro era. This was pushing the boundaries at the time into 286s and later 386 versions of its laptop. Now, laptop's probably a bit of a stretch, which you'll find out. And um, we're going to take a look at it from the point of view of somebody coming into the laptop market now as if they were going back in time and buying a laptop so it'd be nice to see the reactions and what they thought of this machine okay so you know how big your laptop is yeah right okay roughly john tell everybody the size of it roughly with your hands it's like roughly about your laptop close to that all right is it very heavy no, it's actually light a little. It is heavy, little, but it's light mostly. Okay. Would you like this as your first laptop? Do you want to try and pick it up by the handles. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> what? That weighs a hundred pounds. Barely even carry it. What? Is Would you it? like to carry that to school? <laughs> Only if I was your age. Would you like to try and carry it to school? Because I wouldn't. I would. Okay. <laughs> right, so what we're going to do is we're going to see what it was all about, okay? So, do you want to see what it looks like? Yes. Okay, so do you want to carry it to the table? Okay. <laughs> No, I think you better not put it back down. <laughs> <laughs> I can barely even lift it. I can lift it like two, two centimeters higher. All right, we're gonna have a look at it, okay? okay. And we're gonna show you what it was like back in the late eighties and early nineties, really, for that laptop. What? Yep. I didn't even know electronics were invented then. Okay, so there's your new laptop. Or oh, what? Right, what do you think of it? Describe it. I don't see any huge screens. It's really grey. And what? Like, how is this a laptop? It doesn't have any keys. It does not have a screen. It doesn't have... What? Try and open it. How do you open your lid? On your laptop. Uh, I see. I see you now. Oh, that's him. What? No, no. There's a catch on either side. Now have a look at the side of the... Mind your fingers. I'll give you a hint. One there. Uh, uh, uh. And there's one there. Pull them both and lift it at the same time. Wait, how do we do that? Whoa. Right, push it all the way back. 
close. Now, does it look like a laptop now? Yes. What? How, how does this even happen? How did they even make this? That's, that's heavy and thick. No. What's the keys feel like to you? Type on the keyboard. Just like a regular laptop. Mm -hmm. Pretend you're writing your name. So it feels alright? Yeah. Okay. So what? It feels? It feels... Um, the keys, when you press them, it literally feels nearly exactly like a laptop keys. So they haven't changed, have they? No. No. The screen's tiny. Literally. Our screen is our screen it now is like two times as big. Okay, right, so it's uh it's a luggable, it's kind of an early laptop. How how do we turn it on? Ah, uh, you wanna have a go, do you? What's this? No, I don't think so. Right, that's to change the colours for the screen. Basically, it's only two colours. It's black or white. Looks, it's black and white. It looks black right now. It's monochrome, okay? Ah. Uh -huh. So, turn it on. It's just like it turn anything else on. It's just finding a switch. And if you lower the screen and put the screen down gently. And then look, feel around the back. You'll find this on-off switch right down the back. Wait, what? I do not feel any switch. Just lean over and have a look. Oh, I think I feel it. Mm -hmm. Is it a big one? Yeah. Can I flick it? Mm -hmm. What? Do you see how loud it is? Yes, that is very loud. Okay. Oh. Doesn't do a lot, does it? No. Right, okay, it's in what's called DOS at the moment, right? which is a disk operating system, it's only for disks. So if you type D-I-R, D, D, I, R, press return, it shows you what you have on the hard drive. Which one is return? That one. That's what's on the computer, the hard drive. So, what do you use at school? Do you use Windows? Yes. Type Win. W I N. I know it. Wait, Microsoft Windows? Not one you've seen before, is it? That looks a little like YouTube when it's loading. Okay, so we've had to swap mice because it didn't work very well the even on a one. even on a mouse mat and we just changed the contrast button, which is here from that. To that and it seems to be a lot easier to read that but that's all you've got you've got no color that's it it's just white and black that's what you're trying out now oh you actually have to type okay then what do you think you use this for? I'm gonna, one sec, I really wanna write something.
So what would you use this for? Um, How about writing a novel or writing your work or well, writing letters? Writing letters? You mean like sending letters? Well, you can't email them, but you can write them and print them out. Oh, and then send them? Yeah. Oh. In the post? Yeah. Old school. Old school. Yeah. Wait. Not email or text anymore? No. Calendar. There's... Wait, what? Thursday, July... What? It's, the date's wrong, but it's still 2020, so it's two, it's millennium compatible, this machine. Year 2000 compatible, so that's a good thing. It means you can still use it, technically. Until the end of 2020? No, you can use it for a long time, because it's compatible with a four-digit date stamp. Four-digit date, huh? Mm -hmm. See, 2020. Yeah. Earlier, oh. earlier computers just used something like 89 or... 88 or 90 or 91 they didn't have four digits so when it got to the year 2000 it went back to zero instead of 2000 oh. so that calendar wouldn't work would it no it's not the same as a calendar on your phone or on your windows no, machine is it no that is so different yeah da it literally moves whenever I let go. Yeah. Go close. Do you want to see some graphics as it does? Right, okay, this is a DOS program, so just press return or press enter. Which one? Which yep. The this big one? key. Yep. And this is the kind of graphics that these machines could do. Ooh, that's cool. Where's this? Oh, a tunnel. Making a donut. 3D model. It's made a 3D donut. Wow. It's a 3D donut. And if you flick the switch, flick oh. the switch, yes. the little switch, yeah, the little switch, what? Other way, if it doesn't go that way. Yeah. That's it. Whoa, that's cooler. Yeah. Put it back because you can't really see it. No. It inverts the colour. That's it. That's better. Wow. I can draw a 3D cube. So, tell me what you think of this machine. It's great. Why? Because it's way different than... Well, it's way different than the laptops in these years and it it has like different stuff and you, and like you can like use at any time and you can change the color of it oh to black and white but would you like to carry it around no it's way too heavy would you like to use it without any games I would actually. I would like to use it like this. But you can't email. I'm okay with that. You can't text. I know. You can't message people. I I could just uh, message them on my phone, tablet, or my regular old ta laptop. You can't play Fortnite. But uh, um, they're this um laptops and these are a little the same because the screen's like two times smaller. As a regular laptop. Noisy as well, isn't it? Yeah, way noisier. And you can't load your photographs on it from your camera either. You can record. You can't? Yeah, you can. Only voice? Yeah. But you can't record any... Can't record any images. I know. Because there's not enough memory on it. I know. You couldn't even record a one single photograph from your camera on there the? and it would be out of memory Whoa. yeah you can't play YouTube videos on it because it hasn't got enough memory or the graphics capabilities wait how how does everything else have more 30 years ago that was built or more that means 1990s 1990s 
and it was quite a good machine in the 1990s but we've moved on everything's moved on they didn't have YouTube they couldn't play it anyway they didn't have any of the games like Fortnite or Roblox or Minecraft because it couldn't run them even if we did have you did have them then there's not enough memory not enough graphics capability do you know um, Fortnite was made in 2018 um, yeah the hard drive wasn't big enough yeah before then you didn't have a hard drive much before then either before these were up, brought out you had to save everything on disk. Wow. Yeah? And you have to keep on doing... Yeah, because that's trying to save the screen, you see, from being damaged. Because those screens, if you leave a graphic on too long, it burns the image into the screen. Not like a modern screen. So even when you turn it off and back on again, the image will still be there. Permanently. What? Well, yeah. This is what these old CS and LCDs and screens used to do. I thought screens were all normal. No. All the same. They've all changed. What? You see, everything's changed. What you take as normal today, you would be a miracle when that was made. What do you mean a miracle? Well, you couldn't do it. You couldn't do anything on it. Really. You couldn't do what you take for granted on your mobile phone. Let well, alone. the only thing that's the same that um that is the same from this and um the only um game that there is on that's on that and that is on our laptops are the Paint 3D or Paint, not 3D though. Yeah, that's got Paint and we've got Paint, so that's the only thing that's same. Literally. And that's all Windows could do back then. That what you just played with. Just that. And paint and word processor. Wow. So would you like one now? No. <laughs> Didn't think so. <laughs> you are way too heavy. Now I hope you enjoyed that and I um, hope you kind of like the different perspective or the different take on this machine from somebody who's never really seen one of these before let alone try to pick it up or handle it. Thanks for watching and I hope you'll join us on our next episode of Retech. See you then. Please subscribe.